How you doing? I'm a minister myself, and I believe all your message I've Thank heard. Thank you very much. Sir. I've been here several times when you were preaching. Thank you. This could be in this start. I'm at Faith Chapel in Fort Orange. I'm associate pastor there. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we, we've had a long battle here. Yeah. It's we've a, been here five years. Satan's a tough guy, ain't he? Yep. And he's, he even goes to church. Yep. <laughs> Front row. Yeah. <laughs> For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. From Genesis chapter 1 to Revelation chapter 2 the chapters and the pages of the Bible are filled about one man. The man Christ Jesus. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when the pages of the Bible are full of one man, and one man said, he is the way, I cannot find Catholic in the Bible. I find one man named John the Baptist, but I don't see Baptist in the Bible. I do not see Jehovah Witnesses in the Bible. There's no religion. God has set forth for salvation His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. That's in the Bible. Eating and drinking Jesus Christ, that's called cannibalism, and that is forbidden before the law, during the law, and the church age. No man is to eat or drink blood in the Bible. So when you profess you have a Jesus who is the literal body and blood of Jesus Christ, you have sinned against your soul and added more sin. You're not okay without Jesus Christ. There are good people in hell. When the Bible says that there is none that doeth good. There are all kinds of religions and occults in hell. And yet there are one that enter into heaven. And to enter into heaven is by the Lord Jesus Christ. And only by the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, religion is man-made, but Jesus Christ is God approved. And not only is Jesus Christ God approved, but He is also God manifested in the flesh. And the Bible tells those that are saved, I am saved. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. Now the Bible also tells me as a Bible-believing Christian saved under the blood of Jesus Christ, marvel not if the world hates you. Know that it hated me first. And I know when I stand up and preach Jesus, I know some of you hate it. And yet the love of God, he says, go and preach the gospel. And that gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scripture. Now you can have, throughout America, you can have 500 Baptist churches and they're all not going to agree on everything. You can have 500 Catholic churches and they're not going to believe on everything. You can have 500 atheists and not have them all believe in unity. And yet, when the Bible stands for Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Savior, the only mediator between God and man, that is accountable of God, that is received of God, that is approved of God, and that is the way, the truth, and the life. 
There are no other opinions of God for salvation but the fact that Jesus only saves. And that's it. You can't come to God with any other merit. The only charity God will take is the love of Jesus Christ. The only works that God will take to enter into heaven is the work of Jesus Christ upon Calvary's cross. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses all from sin. If you do not believe and put your trust upon the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world, you will die and go to hell. It's that simple. You want to go to heaven? You believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You want to go to hell? Do anything and everything. That's it. A good church attender can go to hell. A man of religion can go to hell. But one that has put his faith and trust upon the finished work of Jesus Christ will never go to hell. When the Bible says, I will never leave thee or forsake thee, those that believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You may come up and say, Oh, I've got this. Thank you. I've got that. If you ain't got Jesus Christ, you ain't got nothing. Amen, brother. You do not have nothing with religion. You've got to put your faith and trust upon Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. Only Jesus saves. No. All accounts will be judged upon Jesus. What Jesus Christ has done and what you have done will be put on the scales of judgment and judgment. And you will be found at fault. You will be found at loss. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Do not come short of your sin. When the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And in your sin, the Bible says, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now Jesus said, I am the way. The Bible says Jesus Christ is the gift of God. There is no church that saves. It is the church of God that is saved, not the church that does the saving. A church is to help Christians grow, but Jesus Christ is the one that saves the soul. Religions are a dime a dozen plus tax, and they end up in the flames of hell forever. Don't be deceived, because Satan is the liar. He's always been the liar. He has been the father of lies. Do you know a church that has fathers that lie? Lie to their congregations? Do you not know that the Bible proclaims that Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, takes away the sin of the world? Everybody hurry up, guys. The deal of your life right here, the Yanis. When death cometh, and you die with the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, the Bible says, absent from the body and present with the Lord. When you put all your faith, and you're all in all, in the all that is all, Jesus Christ, you go to heaven. You go to heaven by what Jesus Christ has done. Only. There are no religions in heaven. There are Christians in heaven. Now be careful of that word Christian because not everybody's a Christian. 
A Christian in the Bible is one that has put his faith and trust minus nothing in the finished work of Jesus. Everybody up on your door again. Because the world calls you a Christian doesn't mean God's going to call you a Christian. You got to have your name in the Lamb's Book of Life, and that Lamb's Book of Life is settled upon the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. The precious blood of Jesus as a Lamb without spot. You got to have a Lamb to save your soul. You can't have a bull. You can't have an ass. You can't have an elephant. You got to have the Lamb of God. And that Lamb of God is Jesus Christ, who is 100% man and 100% God without sin. And we've all sinned. We have all forsaken God. Saved people forsake God. But let me tell you how to get to heaven. Are you ready for the long list to get to heaven? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I didn't tell you to jump through hoops. I didn't tell you to give money. I didn't tell you to join the church. I told you to put your faith and belief upon the finished work of Jesus Christ, the gospel that he suffered and died according to the scripture. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. God manifested in the flesh. Now you got to be careful, friends, because Paul warns us that there's another Jesus out there, and they're a dime a dozen plus tax. There's a Mormon Jesus. There's a Baptist Jesus. There's a Catholic Jesus. There's a Jesus when you wrap your knuckles against the head of your car while working on it. But there's one Jesus Christ. There is one name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. And that name is Jesus Christ. God manifest in the flesh. God himself. Don't get into a religious Jesus. Get into Jesus. The Son of God. The Jesus of the Bible. The Jesus of prophecy. The Jesus prophesied. The Jesus that was virgin born. The Jesus that has no religion. You say, well, preacher, you, you, you knock religion every week because religion can't save you. But only Jesus Christ can save you. Isn't that a religion? Absolutely not. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Thank you. That's kind of narrow-minded, but that's what Jesus said, who is God. God is allowed to be narrow-minded. He's not American. It comes down that when you die, and you die without the Lord Jesus Christ, you will enter into the gates of hell and you won't come out. When you have heard a Bible preacher preach to you the salvation of God through Jesus Christ, when you have heard the lips of a loud mouth man shouting on a public street in Daytona about Jesus and the way of salvation, you can never tell God I never knew. You see, when you hear the preaching of the salvation of Jesus, you are now without excuse. You have heard that Jesus saves. You can't go up to God and say, God, I didn't know. I had no idea. Remember that loud mouth preacher I said to you? What did he preach? He preached about Jesus and nothing but Jesus about the ways of Jesus because the ways of Jesus is Jesus is the way 
And you may call it yelling, but they do the same thing with sports events. He's going around the third corner 14 times. He's going another left, another left, another left, another left. They get excited about cars running the circle. I get excited about Jesus. I get excited about Jesus able to save your soul. I get excited that Jesus is willing to save your soul. What do you get excited about? Something that doesn't mean nothing? Because Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never pass away. Sports in this world will burn up. You can't save Mother Earth. She's going to burn up. But Jesus is his word. Jesus said, a man hearkened unto his words. He's like a man that built his house on a foundation. He built it on the rock. And when the storms of life came, that rock held that house. And that rock, the Bible says, is Jesus Christ. But if you don't listen to the words of Jesus, you built your house upon the sand. And when the, street, when the storms of life has come, a great fall. A great fall. When you live your life to the fullest and you meet every expectation of your life and you die without Jesus Christ, you'll fall. And you'll never rise. God extending mercy and grace to you by a loud mouth preacher. Very blessed big up this morning, sweet candy, good guys. Beautiful form. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. And if your church, your pastor, your rabbi, your priest, whoever, preaches anything but the, but the blood of Jesus Christ, they're wrong. They're mouthpieces of Satan. And if you buy my books for 1995 and I'll give you a prayer rest and does it without the blood of Jesus, they're wrong. But when a man gets up and says, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, they're right. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, that's right, according to the scriptures. Man asked Paul, he said, what must I do to be saved? What must I do not to go to hell? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not harass it's preaching the gospel. Marvel not the world hates you, Jesus said. No, it hated me first. It ain't harassing. Because it can be your livelihood into eternal life. It can be your condemnation into eternal life. That as you reject Jesus Christ, you go off in the hell knowing what the preacher said about Jesus. Oh. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be I saved. I got them in Arabic and to There's no other way. There's no other person. There's no other nothing else to get you in heaven but by Jesus. And the Bible says there is an afterlife. It's heaven or hell. Heaven by Jesus Christ, hell by anything. Hell is an equal opportunity open door earth. They'll take anybody that rejects Jesus Christ. You want to be in with the elect? You want to be with God? You want to be a child of God? You do it through Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. Half a dozen guys. You get no entrance into God's glory by rejecting Jesus Christ. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. You are a sinner. For the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the work. Who have come short of the glory of God. On your own, you come short. You know, if you were to go to an amusement park, they got a sign, you have to be yay big to go on this ride. And if you're not yay big, you can't ride. 
And if you come short of God, you're not going to go into heaven. And the lengthener and the strengthener and the grower of those to go to heaven is by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. I tell you, your religion, according to the scripture, is vain, wicked. Now, if you're saved, you're saved. Go to church and learn. Go to church to have fellowship. Grow the church to grow. But don't go to church to save your soul. It won't work. The very fact that we have the little baby born in a manger to grow up and suffer and die upon Calvary's cross. Everybody help me up, guys. God love your life. is to prove to you that you can't save your soul. You cannot save yourself. Going to heaven is you can't do it on your own. You need help. And there's no other help but to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. The gift of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him shall not be ashamed. The wages of sin is death. We're going to die. Do not die without Jesus Christ. Do not take death alone. You can take a religion, but you'll go alone. You can take science, but you'll do death alone. But if you die in the Lord Jesus Christ, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. For I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. You want to know a name to know a name of all names? Jesus Christ. You want to know a name that you don't want to know a name when you die? Religion. Education. Science. Hell is full of good people. Hell is just not for the wicked. Hell is full of all those that rejected God's way. Hell is full of those who have not believed in the truth. And hell is full of those that don't have the light. John said, that he that has the Son has everlasting life. That Son is the Lord Jesus Christ. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Now what is the wrath of God? It's hell. How do you escape hell? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Where do you fit? You're good enough to please God when God himself pleased himself by suffering and dying according to the scriptures. What can you do that you can top what Jesus Christ has already done? What can you do? What can you say to God that will outdo what Jesus Christ finished work. I gave money. See my 1040? That money belongs to God. 
In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. Our money comes from the resources of the earth. The earth came from God. That money is, your, is his. You're going to pay God with what God gave you. God, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 2, God breathed into man and he became a living soul. You're going to offer to God what God gave you, life. You're not a, you're not a evoluted being. Beautiful form. Sweet candy corn, guys. You may think you came from apes. But we came from God. And you will be helpful to God. You be a monkey's uncle, I'll be a child of God. I will give answer to God Almighty one day. Now, if you want to give account to, ooh, 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 give me a banana, go ahead. But that ain't your that ain't your ancestor. Your ancestor is, is Adam, who sinned against God, and God is his father. Luke chapter three. We have a God that created us, Everybody and we have a God, God, the God, that suffered and died for us. Beautiful, sweet candy corn, guys. The God has offered to you salvation, and it's free. Do you have any more tomatoes, baby? The God that created us and we that sinned against that God says, come on to me, all that are heavy laden. The God that created says, I'm long suffering. I'm not willing that any should perish. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's that simple. Everybody have you up for the deal of your life, guys. Beautiful. Gorgeous, nice looking. You know why a church says come to our church? Because that pastor wants your money. When salvation is free, all God says is bring a humble, contrite, broken heart that's a sinner. Come to me as you are, God says, a sinner. And put your faith and trust in the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. It's that simple. There is an afterlife. It's heaven by Jesus Christ alone or hell by anything or nothing. Jesus said, Jesus said, not me, Jesus said, I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto me but no man cometh unto the father but by me and when you approach god with anything but jesus christ the bible records in the gospel of matthew anything you come to god with anything but jesus christ the bible says that jesus will tell you depart from me ye workers of iniquity I never knew you. Imagine God Almighty telling you to go to hell. Think about it. The God that created you, the God that loved you, the God that suffered and died for you, the God that was manifest in the flesh telling you to go to hell because you have rejected the preaching of his salvation, of his gospel, that he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to scripture. And that same God, if you're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, will say unto you that day, well done, thou good and faithful servant, enter thou into the joy. You can enter thou into the joy, you can hear well done, or you can hear God say, depart from me.
There is no entrance into heaven outside of Jesus Christ. There is no entrance into heaven by what you can do. Going to heaven is by what Jesus Christ has done. And that's it. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved.